Hey everyone, so welcome to the technical training. We're going to set up the Max Out all-in-one platform. So this is a platform that we're going to use to follow old leads that we're going to use to reach out to your current clients that we're going to use to also generate new leads. You're going to need that platform all the time. Even when you're not advertising, uh, you'll probably need this platform just to send emails to your current clients, to send text messages, right? It's, it's just your communication platform, right? What's cool here is that it replaces tools like ClickFunnels, like Zapier, like Schedule Ones or Acuity, like um, Typeform, right? Actually here I'm with Dali and uh, Dali was using uh, the preview system that we are using where I think we are using like about five tools, right? Uh, it's gonna also replace uh, a Google Sheet or a CRM like Pipedrive, right? So here that system will replace everything. So what we're gonna do today is that we're going to integrate with other platforms like uh, we're going to connect to Facebook, we're going to connect to your Google accounts. Why? Because uh, probably you want to synchronize your calendar, right? Or because uh, maybe we want to know the Facebook ad spend from Facebook. So we're going to connect that. And also we're going to connect Twilio. So Twilio is a service that we're going to use. Actually, that's the only other service that you're going to have to pay for really but it's not that expensive and it's not a subscription. You only pay for the text messages that you send, right? So we're going to work on that today. So I'm gonna share my screen. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to set this up for, uh, for Dali. And then when I'll need uh, Dali uh, for passwords or stuff, stuff like that, he'll uh, help me. And, um, and also Dali, don't hesitate. As soon as you have a question, uh, mm -hmm. don't hesitate to, um, to ask me, okay? I'll ask questions for the public. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. All right, so you just got your uh, your accounts, right? The Maxout uh, platform accounts, and yeah. this is what you should uh, see. So keep in mind that we always, always add new tools to this platform, and sometimes you know we rearrange things. You know, so don't be afraid if we change the. Um, the names here, or if it's reorganized, right? Recently, for instance, we added here this uh, gym ranking that's brand new. It's just a ranking of the of the results from different gym owners, right? And maybe soon you're going to see here another icon for another tool that we're going to add to the platform, okay? So, so basically here, this is where you're gonna be able to uh, speak with people clients or prospects. Here, there's going to be your uh, CRM where you're going to uh, be able to track, you know, uh, where your prospects are at in the sales process, right? Here, this is where we're going to build funnels, marketing campaigns, surveys, stuff like that. Here, this is about the scheduling. Here, I'm probably going to remove that soon. Uh, we're not using it right now. Here, this is where you're going to find all of your contacts, right? Clients and prospects. Here are all the automations. So if you're already familiar with a tool like uh, Zapier, basically this replaces Zapier. What does that mean? If you're not familiar with it, it means that if something happens, then we can have those actions, right? If I get a new prospect from my website, then I want to send them a text message, right? That's, that's where we create those kind of automations. If then, with a trigger and with actions. Chat widgets, this is a tool that you can add to your website. Uh, here, this is where we're going to track your results, right? This is uh, actually the main uh, thing that you should, uh, this is the main thing that you should look at. If you have a pause. Quick question. Um... Does this replace mini chat for Facebook as well? Yes, we connect with a uh, Facebook messenger. You're used to having uh, an AI, right? That that was uh, understanding, you know, what what the prospect was saying and then provide an answer. We don't have that just yet. 
but uh, we are working on it. Yeah. yeah cool. so yes, yes, you can have a, you know Facebook Messenger is going to connect with Facebook Messenger, but we didn't connect the AI to it just yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, here this is going to be the pulse on your business. Here is the same thing, but a bit more detailed. Here, this is where we keep track of the customer pricing. So it means that for each uh, new member, you're going to mention, you know, the, the price. What I recommend is you have different pricing, you know, with different tiers. Some people don't need nutrition coaching and progress tracking and accountability coaching and mindset coaching, but some others do, right? So you probably, you're probably, probably going to have different um, price for your membership. Here, this is where you track the progress of your clients. So here, you're going to be able to track their body composition in terms of body weight and uh, body fat percentage. And also, you're going to be able to, um, to uh, keep notes you know, for each uh, weekly check-ins. You are going to be able to uh, type notes. And also, you're going to be able to save, save uh, before and after pictures. OK. Here are some uh, settings for the gym. Here, this is just the link to the training, right? Here, this is where uh, we, uh, we rank the results from the, from the Max Out Your Gym uh, gyms. And here is just access to the Zoom call when we have uh, Zoom calls. All right, so ju just a quick intro to the, to the, um, to the platform. And uh, so now what we're gonna do Actually, here I'm connected as a uh, Remy, right? Maybe it's going to be a good idea uh, to connect as a uh, you, Dali, actually. Um, because, okay, no, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. We can, we can stay like that. So basically, well, yeah, first thing what we're going to want to do is that we want to connect Google, Facebook, and also we're going to connect Twilio. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is when uh, Dali will type his uh, password, I'm just going to pause the video and uh, and we're going to do it this way. Okay, so here I've we're going to start. I've yeah. sent it to you via message for Twilio. Oh, okay, perfect. Awesome. Uh, it's on uh, in your Zoom, in your Zoom message. So I'm just going to get that. Okay, so you already got a, a Twilio account already. I started. I started, but then we. Okay, then okay, then I stopped. And then you stopped. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're still going to show you know the process just for the purpose of the training on how to create an account, right? Okay. Uh, so that's for Twilio. Let's just start with uh, Google here. So I'm going to click on Connect, uh, and then here you're going to have that. You're going to have this pop up appearing. Maybe maybe you, you you share your screen just for this phase, uh, Dali, because I don't have yeah, access to, yeah. to that. Yeah, share your screen. I'm gonna let you share your screen here, and uh, and we're gonna connect here. Yeah, I'll just quickly log in. Just... Okay, so settings. Uh, yeah, and then integrations. It's below in the middle. In the middle, yeah, Thank you. yeah. There we go. All right, let's click on connect here. Do you have the pop up? You should have a pop up appearing. Oh, already. Okay, we we, we didn't see the pop up, uh, but basically you selected uh, your Google account and then it connected. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, okay. perfect. Awesome. Let's do the same with Facebook. Uh, no, it's different. Um, so. Just which business do you want to link to this location? You don't have any connected businesses under this account. So here, I don't can see what's going on here, uh, Adali. Do you can, you see, can you see what I'm saying? I don't think so, no. Um, I just see that uh, you connected your Google account and it seems fine here, but I don't see anything else. Okay, um, so can you see this uh, message where it says, which businesses do you want to link to this location? No, I don't see that message. But yeah, select your gym here, basically. Oh, here we go. Now, can you see it? That's fine. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay, close. Yeah, you can close. All right. Now let's do the Facebook integration. 
so good. You can't see the pop-ups, can you? I just can't see the pop-ups, yeah. Maybe the way you shared the screen, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. How did you share the screen? All right, now you can see it. Yep. Now I can see the pop-up here, yeah. Yeah, continue as Dali. Then connect that your page, yeah. Approve everything. Yeah. Okay. Select your page, there we go, and connect. All right, let's just click on Messenger settings just to uh, check. Yeah, receive Facebook Messenger messages. We want that on, perfect. All right. If you have QuickBooks, you can connect your QuickBooks. Uh, let's go down here. And so here we have Twilio, right? This is for us to have a phone number. And so you already uh, you already did the process. Can you just explain real quick what you did to create that Twilio account? Yeah, I can. I'll just show you the screen. So I went to Twilio.com. Yeah. Uh, I clicked on Sign Up. Mm -hmm. um, I put my details in here. Just remember, it's a very long password, 14 characters. Um, and then you start your trial, and then that's that's how far I got up to, and I didn't do yeah. anything else. And then I think that there is a little survey after that. Yeah. Right? So what I was survey, doing. the survey, oh. and that's all you did, right? Yeah, um, and that's it. And I'll, what I'll do, I'll log in. So for people watching the video, I have a, a special link. I think it gives you a $10 credit. Um, did you use that link? To, uh, that, yes, that link? I did. Yeah. Yeah, it gives you something for free, I believe. Uh, make sure you use that link. OK, so here you just logged in again, yeah? Yeah, I'm just logging in. I'm just going to put my number in there just so I can log in. So here is just security stuff. They ask you for a two-factor authentication. So you put your phone number in. Yeah, so that's your recovery code. For that, I would recommend um, a tool like LastPass. Are you familiar with LastPass, Dali? No. LastPass is like a manager a password manager, okay. right? Where you would save all of your passwords. And then when you need the password, even when you're on your phone without your laptop, then you have access to all of your passwords, you know? Okay. That's what I use. I recommend this tool, but you don't have to use the uh, pass, uh, last pass. It's up to you. All right, let's click on finish. All right, great. The only thing else I did was I went into billing. Yeah. And I put in my details and uh, added $20 and that's it. Okay, great, perfect. So yeah, you got uh, a $10 free credits by clicking on my link, right? And then you added an extra $20. Yeah. Another thing I recommend people to do, which I haven't done, is auto recharge. As well. I was gonna say, yeah, exactly. So that's, you know, if it goes to zero, then it's going to reload automatically so that uh, you can always, always send your text messages, right? So here I'm gonna share my screen this time. I just want to show uh, something. I want to explain something here. I'm just gonna type uh, Twilio and then uh, countries. Just want to explain something here before we continue. Okay, so if you are in Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Chile, Denmark, Finland, France, Israel, Netherlands, Puerto Rico, South Africa, UK, or US, you're lucky, <laughs> right? Because you can get phone numbers with both voice and SMS. So you're in Australia, Delhi, you're lucky. You're going to be able to get that kind of phone number. 
if you know your country is not in this list the main thing we want to do is sms right phone calls sure but mainly sms right so it means that uh, you want to go down, scroll down. And then you want to go here to SMS enabled only phone numbers. And then you want to check if your country is here. Right? If your country is not in this list or in the, the previous list, then just let me know. And probably we can find a solution with click send but it's going to be custom made just for you because uh, your country is not in this list, right? Basically what we're gonna do is that we're going to use click send just like you were using it before Dali, remember? Yeah. Right. So it was working yeah. well. It's just that uh, we can't use Twilio and so we, we need to use a uh, click send. Uh, it would be um, a custom -made, custom made solution though, if we do that. Also, some countries require a regulatory bundle. It's because in some countries, they, uh, they have some uh, law laws, you know, to open a phone number and they want to check if you are a legit business, if you have a, you know, a, a business ID, if you have a website, if you have a physical address, they're not going to give you a, you know, a phone number just like that. In the US, actually, they don't require a regu regulatory bundle. It's super easy to get the phone number. You click the button, get the phone number, and you get the phone number. In Australia, there is a regulatory bundle. So here, we're going to do the training uh, where we're going to show you how to uh, get that regulatory bundle approved. If you're in the US, you can skip that. Maybe some other countries don't, uh, don't require it. But yeah, if if uh, if they don't require a regulatory bundle, you can skip, you know, that part here. All right. Uh, so share your screen again, and we'll do that here in your Twitter account, uh, Dali. So it's somewhere on the left side, in the menu. Yeah, M more left. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, click on the yeah. So you see right now you don't have any uh, phone number, but you won't be able to create one because we don't have a regulatory bundle. And so you see now on the left, it shows regulatory bundle uh, compliance on the left in the menu. Yeah. Yeah, click on that. So here, you know, for people watching the video, let's say you're in the Netherlands, let's say you're in uh, France, whatever. The regulatory bundle will change, you know. Um, don't tell me, hey, Remy, it's a bit different compared to the video with Dali. Yeah, it is different because it's another country. Just fill out the form, okay? Uh, there is nothing really complicated. You just have to upload a few documents, answer questions, just fill out the form, right? Okay? All right, so let's create a regulatory bundle here. Click on that button. Select your uh, country. And so for you, yeah, let's get a mobile phone number. Yeah. Sure, yeah, business, yeah. Okay, next. All right, so here we're going to have to upload a, a proof of address, commercial register. Let's go back up. And what else? Commer commercial registry. So the business ID number and then the business name and then a proof of address. Do you have those documents, Dali? Um, I can have a quick look. So that's when documents. Um, 
I can quickly download a red receipt. So here I'm just going to pause the video, you know, until uh, Dali finds those documents, until we upload them. No need to record that. I mean, just find those uh, documents, okay? I'm going to pause the video now. Okay, so we're back. So what you're doing here, Dali? Okay, so I've put the document in, um, which needs to have your name and proof of address of your business. So, and then it's asking for your, my physical address where I live, and then um, my name. And then, uh, and then it's your business address as well. So, no. there we go. And the save. Great. So here we have one document, and I think they need more documents, right? Okay, so yeah, you, you still need two documents, right? Okay. Like the commercial, commercial yeah. register. I don't know. If you oh, can we stop the recording? I'll see if I can grab those yeah, as well. The recording. Basically, uh, I think in the US it's called EIN, you know, for this kind of uh, business ID. I'm not yeah. sure what the name is in Australia or what the name would be in your country. Uh, AB, ABN, yeah. All right, so I think that uh, now that he found his uh, document for the commercial commercial registry, right? Uh, so here we should be good. Uh, we can next, next, let's continue. Uh, Yeah, next, um, go down and next, or just submit. Yeah. Agree. Okay, so now you just gotta wait. You see here it's in pending review. You're gonna have someone uh, from Twilio that will review your regulatory bundle. And uh, you should have it. You see what do they say here? It will take up to three business days, right? You have it verified. So here we're just gonna wait for that, okay? Yeah. Uh, just let me know, Dali, when you have that verified, and then we we'll just uh, connect, you know, Twilio with the MaxArt platform. Uh, one thing what, that we're gonna do also here somewhere, we can, uh, you know, approve some other countries, but probably you're only going to um, to send text messages to Australia. But if you want to send text messages to other countries, we need to, uh, we need to uh, approve that. So it's somewhere in the menu. I forgot exactly where that is. Um, let's go to the settings somewhere, yeah. Uh, let's, go. let's go to the three dots on the left side. Uh, sorry. Oh, no, sorry, Program, programmable messaging, yeah. Click on program, yeah. programmable messaging at the top. And uh, what if you click on settings now? And then you see here you have geo permissions on the left. Yeah. So let's let's check if uh, Australia is activated already here. So that's Europe here. Oh, oh, is it working? Yeah, yeah, it's already activated for you, so that's cool. But if you want to send to other countries, you can change that here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all there is uh, to do for now until we get that regulatory bundle approved. And then once we have the regulatory bundle approved, what we're gonna do is that we're going to uh, go to phone numbers here. You know, let's go back. I just show you what we're gonna do once it's approved. Click on phone numbers. And then here, we're gonna be able to buy a, a number, okay? Once it's gonna be approved. We can't do it now because we don't have the regulatory bundle. But yeah, basically here, 
uh, you're going to be able to uh, search for a phone number. And uh, so in Australia, it does cost actually uh, yeah, 15 bucks to get a number. In some other countries, it's just one dollar. In the US, I know it's one dollar. Uh, for the I just phone. noticed, Remy, it just says voice. It doesn't have text. Yeah, so let's go back up. Let's go back up. Uh, in the capabilities, uh, yeah. SMS. Yeah, you will want to make sure that you have uh, that and click on search again. Uh, yeah. Make sure that we have both voice and SMS if you are in a country that would allow you to have both at the same time. Oh, and actually, it's cheaper. Great. Awesome. <laughs> And what, what can we also get one with MMS by any chance? Let's, let's, let's check. Oh, no, not, not in Australia. Okay. No, you want to do, yeah. Just those, yeah. Search. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, at least we want to have voice and SMS. If you can have voice, SMS and MMS, just get that, you know. Yeah, and so here you could also, uh, you could also choose, you know, the, the three first uh, digits. For instance, in San Francisco, it always, always starts by 415, the three first di digits for people living in San Francisco. I don't know if it's the case for you in Australia as well, but here yes. you can type the number and the first three digits or the first two digits or whatever. Is that the case in Australia? Nah, nah. No, no. It's, it's just 04 everywhere, so that's... So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's just let's uh, just try. To let's try. That. Yeah, I was going to say let's just try. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so voice, fax, and SMS. Okay, let's click on next. It's a business, yeah. Okay, so there we go. All right now they ask for the regulatory bundle. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna have to wait for that. And then you can come by, uh, and then you're gonna have your phone number. Make sense? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, do you still have your ClickFunnels account uh, or not? Not anymore? Um, I should, I, I can have a look. You already have your ClickFunnels account. Okay, so if you already had a ClickFunnels funnel, what's Ooh. cool is that you can import that ClickFunnels funnel into the uh, platform. Yeah, let me let me see if I can log in into it. If you didn't have a ClickFunnels uh, funnel, it's okay. It's already preloaded, you know, in your accounts. We already have a funnel. You're just gonna have to tweak a few things before after pictures, and, you know, social proof, written testimonials. Uh, your address, maybe your headshots, your landing page video. Of course, we're going to have to uh, personalize it, customize it. But already in your accounts, you already have uh, all the templates, right? So here I'm asking Dali if he has a, already a ClickFunnels funnel so that he doesn't even have to do that, right? Uh, we'll, show, we'll show you how to do both, okay? I always forget my password, so I'm just resetting it. Okay. I'm gonna pause the video until uh, you get that, okay? Yeah. All right, so uh, that is in uh, ClickFunnels. So now it's not a tool that we will need anymore, right? It's because he was using that in the past, and now we're just going to like import what he had in ClickFunnels into the new uh, platform, okay? Uh, so here you just need to op open that page by clicking on the arrow. You just want the link of that page. No, 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 no. Yeah, this one. Yeah, no, no, no. the one on the, on the right. Just want to open uh, the page. To edit it, just open the page. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, yep. Let me go fix it. So here we are showing you how to do it with ClickFunnels, and then I'll show you how to do it without ClickFunnels, okay? Okay, uh, copy that URL here, Dali. Yep. 
if you don't have click funnels, you can skip that part, right? So now you're gonna go back up and you're gonna go to mark, uh, where is it? Marketing and tools and then funnels and websites. Yeah, funnels. And so here you're gonna click on new funnel. So you see here, we already have like some templates. We already have three templates. Maybe you're gonna see more, maybe you're gonna see uh, less. I update, you know, those templates here. Here you can uh, give, in, give it whatever name that makes sense to you. You know, you give a, uh, a name to your funnel. So for people watching that don't know what a funnel is, it's uh, basically a web page that is built to uh, generate a lead. And then after we have several steps and it's designed to book an appointment basically. Right? Yeah, create funnel. And then here, add a new step. And then here you can give it a, a name. So I would say just landing page. Path, you can say, whatever, free consults, free consultation, consultation, consults, challenge, if you use a challenge or body transformation program, whatever. And then import from ClickFunnels. Here, you're gonna paste. So here, that path, you know, it's like, it's gonna be your domain, domain name, forward slash the path. So here, maybe you're gonna want to type it you know, without space, but uh, with the dashes like you did, you know, for the path. Does that make sense? Yeah, and maybe also without, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. there we go. Yep. Yes, you can confirm and you can create the funnel step. So once this imports, can I cancel click funnels after this? You're not driving traffic to it? Not at the moment, no. no. And is it on your website? No. Okay, so then, yeah. yeah. What I would recommend though is that uh, make sure that you extract your contact list, right? Yeah. Maybe you already had that contact list, but um, if you didn't have it already, make sure that you extract the contact yeah. list from those, okay? And there we go, boom, it's here. And so here basically, it's just like ClickFunnels. It's basically a copy, it's basically a copy of ClickFunnels, yeah, the way it works. Do you recognize the way it works, Daddy? Yeah, 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 looks, it looks exactly the same, yeah. Well, maybe here we're gonna have to tweak a few things. I just saw something here, yeah, go down, go down, go down, stop. You see here, up, up, just up. You see here, there is something here. Maybe you just remove that section. Okay. You know, maybe sometimes you have a few things to uh, fix because of the import that is not uh, perfect, but almost perfect. This one? Yeah, probably remove that. There is nothing in it, I don't think. I think that's the booking tab that we can climb yeah. from the top. I don't know if you want a, a button, a blue button, uh, go, go up. No, not this one, the other one. I don't think you want a blue button right after we are in Renmark. Maybe you want it. What you can do here, you can drag and drop it. You know, there is a, a cross on the right side. No, on the right side. Yeah, drag and drop it right below the pictures. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Maybe in the middle, if you can. Can you drag and drop it in the middle? No. No, you can't. So it means that you need. We need to add a new. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but ideally, we we don't want it to be in that gray area. You know. Yeah, you don't need a, a whole new section. So let me explain how it works here. We have sections, those are the green stuff, the green boxes, right? 
Then we have rose. It's in blue. How how I understand that, Dali? I'll, I'll explain. <laughs> Uh, the rows are in blue. That's what we have inside the sections. And then uh, we have the columns. Those are in purple. And then inside, we can have elements. And those elements are in um, orange. So here, yeah, click on plus here. Because here we have a no. two column. And actually, now below, we want a one column now below. So yeah, one, one column. column, and now you can drag and drop it into that one column row. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So here, you know, when you import, yeah, make sure that it imported uh, properly. Here we had a few things to tweak, right? But I think we are good now. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go see. Uh, let's go up. And let's go to the pop-up. There is a pop-up. Pop-up. Yeah. Click on that pop-up. Yeah, so here we need to um, change that pop-up though, right? We're gonna edit that pop-up here. What I would recommend now is not to have a black background anymore. Let's, let's have it white. And instead of writing in white, let's write in, in black, OK? So here, click on Open Pop-up Settings. Yeah, so it's on the left. And let's go change the, the color of the background. Let's have it in, in white. Yeah, on the left side, just on the left. Go on the left. Yeah. Left. It's here, yeah. Uh, and now let's go down on the left, the menu. No, no, no. Not, no. not the setting. Exit that. Open, to, yeah, here on the left, you already have it. Uh, ah, yeah. okay, yeah. 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 Let's change the background color. Let's just have it in uh, white. There we go. And now let's go back on the text. And now let's change the text in uh, black. Click on the text. You know, here there are two little emojis, two emojis dancing. Uh, click on, on, on the elements. Oh, yeah, click yeah. on the Okay, and now you're gonna go change uh, the text color, color, and change that to uh, black. Yeah, and then same. I think there is a title somewhere. Yeah. I don't think it imported anything. Oh, hang on, it's still there. You can change it here. Uh, that's the background color. And what about the text color? Yeah, it's here. Go on the left. So that's the background color. Go down, go down. Oh, yeah, it's because you know you have the color, but also you have the bold text color. It's probably in bold. Let's change the, the, there we go, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. So here you're going to remove that button. Yeah, remove that button. Click. Remove it. Yeah. And now right below the text, click on the plus. Click on the plus, no, no, the plus below. Uh, can you repeat that, sorry? The plus. At the bottom. Oh, yeah. No, not this one. That one. This one. And so here you're going to have form. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. And now select your form and body transformation form. There we go. Ah, uh, nice. OK. OK. Again, here, you know, it's only if you have to import it from ClickFunnels, right? Yeah, uh, I notice. Oh no, that's that's fine as well. Yeah. Is the New York time to put what is it that you had in your headline that you put your house number? Oh yeah. yeah. Very old when I was uh, just testing new things in January. Okay, okay. So here, yeah, it's only if you are importing from ClickFunnels what we're doing here, right? 
Uh, okay, let's click on save. And then let's go back to your click funnels. And now let's go get the thank you page. Uh, can you make it bigger here because it's small? Yeah. Okay, get that thank you page, open it, and get the URL for it. Yeah, get that. And then we're just going to do the exact same process, but for that thank you page. So here you can close now. I mean, you can close. You can um, go back. Click on the arrow on the left, you saved already, right? Uh, and now you can click on the back arrow on the left side, top left corner. And now add a new step. And now you're just gonna Maybe for path, you say a uh, book. Here, name for the page, uh, booking page, yeah? And the path, book, yeah? Confirm and then create. There we go. Um, so we're going to remove the custom HTML JavaScript because before you were using schedule ones probably to book your uh, consultations. Now you won't even need schedule ones anymore. It's in the platform, right? So you can remove that custom HTML JavaScript and click on plus. Yeah, here. And now let's go down. And let's go find uh, the calendar, click on calendar. Click on select your calendar and click on free consultation. And boom. Okay, so you can also now cancel schedule once if you want. <laughs> uh, so here what we integrated is your personal calendar, right? If you're the only one doing one-on-one -on -one consultation with prospects. If it's you plus other salespersons, then we will want to integrate another calendar here, but it's mm -hmm. not created yet. So that's why we couldn't like select that one because we didn't create it, that, yeah. uh, that calendar just yet, okay? Is uh, that when you do Google inter integration? Do I, if I want to add someone else? No, I'll just, I'll just teach you uh, in the upcoming uh, lessons, I'll just teach you how to build it. Okay, yep. Just make sure that uh, if you do use a, a team calendar, that here you would select the right team calendar. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Save, so, and uh, so, we're done with that. Yeah, because I, I have someone else who does the consultation, so we'll have to do another lesson. On... Okay, yeah, 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 I'll teach you how to do that. So what would be cool now is, let's go back to your ClickFunnels real quick here. Did you buy, uh, did you buy uh, your domain name yes. from yes, ClickFunnels? Okay. Yep. Okay. The Fusion Health Club Challenge.com, you bought it for, with ClickFunnels, yeah? Yep, I did, yep. So there is a way for ClickFunnels to give you access to that um, domain name. Just open a new tab, open a new tab, uh, and type uh, transfer domain name ClickFunnels. 
if you want to geek out on this, go ahead. <laughs> Domain transfer, yes, click on that. There you go, that's the process, okay? So basically you need to reach out to billing at clickfunnels.com and then step two, what is it? Okay, step three, what is it? Yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, go ahead. Um, and then they're going to send it to you on DNS simple, okay? Let's go back up. The thing is that before submitting your request, please create a paid account with DNS Simple here. Click on DNS Simple. Go down uh, or go see the pricing. It's $6 a month, okay? So if you really care, <laughs> about uh, keeping fusionhealthchallenge.com. You can do that, but it's $6 a month. Or what you can do is just get a new domain name. It's going to be uh, 10 bucks a year and you don't need to contact ClickFunnels and you don't need to do anything else. You like that option better, Daddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do it now. Okay, let's just do. Okay. Let's just get a new uh, domain name. So, it, it, is it done through the platform, or do you go buy one somewhere else, uh, GoDaddy or something? Yeah, so it's either GoDaddy. It could be Go Google Domains. It could be Namecheap. It could be. Um, there are many, uh, you know. Services like that. GoDaddy or Namecheap. I use Namecheap. You can do it with I've GoDaddy. I've got a GoDaddy account, so I'll oh, just see. GoDaddy. Okay, sure. Let's, go. Let's do it with GoDaddy. Okay. I'll get you to stop recording and then I'll, I'll quickly log in. Oh, hang on. I might be logged oh. in here. Yeah. Do you have your password? Uh, no, I'll have to find my um, oh. Oh, password. I haven't been in it for ages. All right, go back. You can share your screen again. Okay, so you have a joint fusion health club that you already have, you just told me, and that you want to use, yeah? Is that yeah. what you want to do? Okay. Yeah. So just, you know, for the purpose of the training here, that he already has that one, he wants to use that one. Otherwise, can you please just show real quick how to get a new domain name in GoDaddy? Okay, so at the top, uh, buy and sell. Go into domains. And so basically here, yeah, you go to domains and it's like name of your gym, body transformation program or name of your gym challenge or name of your, or go name of your gym or whatever. <laughs> you know, or find a name for your body transformation program, or, you know, you are CrossFit Renmark, you wear CrossFit Renmark, right? Yeah. But now you're Fusion Health, right? Maybe you can also like change that, you know? Um, um, I can't, I won't go into buy and sell, I'm not sure why. Because, so you're not affiliated with CrossFit anymore, but even for people watching this training right now, if they are CrossFit affiliated, keep in mind that sometimes actually it's more intimidating than anything else. And it's not gonna help that much that you actually have CrossFit in the domain name. So I just searched one, uh, CrossFit5341.com.au. Yeah. Uh, could be just .com here at the bottom. No. Um, this one is only fifteen ninety five for the first year, um, and you can play around and, and yeah, you can have a cheaper ones, yeah. but yeah, dot com is nice, yeah, yeah, or dot com dot au for you, it's great also, yeah, that's how you get a, a domain name, and then all right, let's go back to uh, where you were before.
Right. So now let's go back to the platform. Let's go back to the MaxArt platform. Let's make it bigger. OK. So let's go into the, the settings. So click on DN. I mean, for you, it's DN because Dali Ninja, right? Just click on the, you know, the, the circle at the top corner for people watching the video and then settings. And so you see here, you have domains. Click on domains. Add a new domain. Add a new domain, yeah. And so here, you can either have the domain connected or you can create a subdomain. I would not type www. Remove the www because actually the www is, is a subdomain. Yeah. And so it means that here you're using a domain name. So it means that you're gonna have to do an A record, right? If you would want to create a subdomain, because for instance, what you can also do here is that you could keep, you know, the domain name that you have for your website. What is it for you? Uh, fusionhealthclub.com.au. Fusionhealthclub.com.au, yeah. What you could do also is that you could create a subdomain here where you have something before the Fusion Health Club, for instance, challenge dot or go dot or consultation or free consultation dot. You know what I mean? So here it's it's up to you if you want to use like a subdomain, you know, with the domain that you already have, or if you want to use a brand new domain. Yeah, but um, I, would like to, I would like to use a subdomain because that then I can get rid of those other domains and save, save sure. a little bit of money, I guess. Yeah, yeah sure. exactly. Yeah. So it means that actually now we're going to have to do, you are going to have to set up a C name record pointing flash funnels message. Yeah. So, yeah. So basically, so yeah, hold on. Uh, let me just explain yeah. something here for people watching the video. Yep. If you already have a website, but maybe it has been done by wood sites, or maybe it has been done by like a marketing agency or you know a web developer, and uh, you only have access to the WordPress and you have no idea where the website is hosted, where the domain name is hosted, and you, or you can't find your password and uh, you're trying to reach out to your web developer and it's complicated, <sighs> whatever, just get a new domain, it's 10 bucks. It's 10 bucks USD and it's 15 bucks AUD. You know, don't spend too much time on that, just get a, a new domain and let's move on, you know? If you know, hey, no, I know, my domain name is on Godaddy, my domain name is on Namecheap, I know how to uh, log in, have the password, then it's a good idea to do a, a subdomain, right? It's just two different methods, you know? Either you get a brand new domain, it's 10 bucks USD a, a year, right? Uh, if you want to save, do 10 bucks because you know how to connect uh, to your do domain, uh, to your domain registrar, that's how it's called. Then you can do it just like Dali is doing. Make sense? So here, it's easier. You bought a new, brand new domain, right? And then you're going to do the A record, or you're doing it like daily, and you do a subdomain, and then we would do a C name record. Does that make sense? Was I clear here, Dali? Yeah. Should we do both? Should we show show everyone both? Uh, sure. We can show both. Yeah. Because actually here we can connect several yeah. domains to the platform. So we can show both, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do that, good idea. So let's do the C name record here because you decided to do a first a subdomain. So copy yeah. the flash.funnels.msgzrad.com. Copy that. And let's go, and without the space, huh? I think you got a space here somewhere, no? 
Copy that. Let's go to Godaddy. So it could be Godaddy, but it could also be Namecheap or whatever you're using, right? And here you want to find the DNS managed domain, probably here in Godaddy managed domain, and we want to find the DNS. So I'm not uh, super familiar with all the uh, different um, websites. I don't use Godaddy, I use Namecheap. So yeah, we just want to find the DNS. Here you have it, DNS. Yeah, DNS. DNS, and then manage zones. That's what you want, manage zones. And then type your domain name. Yeah, this one. Okay, and so here we're going to create the C name. So go down. I can, yeah, and then C name. Yep. And then host, you paste what you just copied. Then you go back to the MaxArt platform. And then you copy uh, body transformation. Without the space, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom, and save. All right. Uh, let's go back to the platform. Click on add. So here it says couldn't find a C name pointing body transformation to a uh, flash. Oh, hold on. Did I do that right? Hold on. Or was it the opposite? Uh, I think it was the opposite. I think I told you uh, something wrong here. Uh, I think it's the opposite. Sorry. Yeah, I think you've got to do pointing to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, pointing, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the opposite. <laughs> Sorry about that. Save. Let's do it again in the platform. See if it worked this time. Okay. Let's open a new um, tab. And just type uh, what's my DNS in yeah, what's my DNS? Yeah, enter. What's my DNS.net? No, no, the, you have it here. The cell result, the cell result, which is the first without the ads actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now you're gonna type body transformation dot. I mean, body transformation for people watching the video, whatever you chose, huh? Dot, your domain name. And then type uh, C name instead of A, and then search. So actually, you see, boom, you know, it's actually done now. It just takes time to propagate all over the world. It just takes some yep. time. And so sometimes you see, you see in Japan, it's not done yet. <laughs> but probably if you refresh that in one minute in Japan, it's going to be fine. You know, so actually here we, we, we see it working already. All right, click on search again, just to see. Uh, and let's see if uh, Japan is okay now. Ah, now it's ah, not Japan, no, still not. I mean, should be good for, for you now. Let's go back to the platform. It's just a tool that you can use to make sure that, okay, you just, just gotta wait. And here now it should work. We just need to wait, click on add. Yep. There we go. Right. And, and it's now you can link it to your, to your, yeah, you can link it. So here we linked to a, uh, the funnel that we just uh, imported with uh, DALI, 
if you didn't import a funnel, just select uh, you know one of the funnels here, right? That we had uh, by default. Make sense? Yeah. So let's go back to the platform. Let's go back to the platform, the Maxell platform. Uh, click on edit. Click on edit the pen next to the yeah default page, and then here you can select it again. All right? Or for people that didn't import, let's just show it again. For people that didn't import, here you can select uh, body transformation program. MOYG funnel for a slash landing page. Okay. But for you here, you're going to select this one here and save. Did you save that? Ah, uh, yes, I did. Yeah. And now you can test again. Yeah, yeah. You can test again. And now that. There we go. Yeah. All right. So that was the subdomain method. If you want to connect, the domain name of your website, you know, uh, we, we, we create a subdomain. If you don't know how to connect to the domain name of your website because you have no idea if it's GoDaddy or Namecheap or whatever, or you don't remember the password, just get a brand new one on GoDaddy or Namecheap or, you know, those kind of uh, websites that, sells, that sell a domain name. Just get a brand new domain name and then we would do a A record, okay? So here you already have one, right? So we're gonna do that method here just for the purpose of the training here, Dali. Yep. So Am I clear with what I'm explaining here? Yeah, is that fine? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm clear. Yeah. Okay. So we've got this, let's just imagine we bought uh, Join Fusion Health Club, which is not yeah. getting used at the moment. Let's just assume that we just bought that one, right? Yeah. Uh, and so now we're going to do a, a record. So we go into DNS. So same thing, basically. Yeah, we're just going to do the same thing, except that we're going to do a record instead of C name. Now you type the other domain name, yeah, this one. Mm. Not sure why it was not showing up uh, for you here. It's well how the way it's done here in GoDaddy. Um, can't you just access the the DNS of yeah Joint Fusion Health Club? Yeah, if you click on it, maybe. <laughs> Maybe if you go down somewhere. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we can't display your DNS information because your name servers aren't managed by us and it looks like your name servers are managed by Cloudflare. Does that ring a bell for you, Cloudflare? No, that's fine. We can, We what we'll do, we'll just use the, let's just have a look at the other domains, maybe okay. across the room. You're not using that one anymore, crossitmemory.com, yeah? No, I'm not using it anymore. No. Okay, so we just assume that we just bought this domain name here. All right, there we go. And so now do it again, you know, in the in the Maxell platform where you would add crossitrandmark.com without anything before, right? was before the domain name is the subdomain, right? So here, that's the domain name. And if you write something dot before that, that would be a subdomain. Uh, so here we are just doing the domain name. So that's an A record. Yeah. And uh, copy the 3468, no, no, no. The 3468234.4, yeah, copy that. Copy. And then go to uh, GoDaddy. Uh, uh, 
click uh, on add and then it's uh, a record and then uh, points to so you you type uh, yeah and uh, here you type at and save okay go back to the platform and uh, the Maxar platform yeah Click on add. 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 Okay, let's go see uh, with the tool that we had earlier if it's a propag propagating. And you're going to change C name by A. Is that the right one? 34, 68, 234.4, yeah, I believe so, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's go back again to the platform and let's click on the save again. Add. Yeah, maybe we need some time here. Um, click on the click on the add again in the platform. There we go. Yep. So here we need the two methods, right? We did it with the subdomain method. If you already uh, know, you know uh, how to connect to your uh, Namecheap or your Godaddy or your uh, whatever service you're using. And then we did it where we don't, we wouldn't know that, and we uh, would buy another. Uh... So here, same. You, you will need to, uh, you know, we need to link. Go back to the Maxar platform. Uh, yeah, edit, landing page, save. Yes. And then go back and cut and try again. Yeah. It might just need to take some time, I think. Yeah. Might take some time, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes we gotta wait a bit. Just let me know when your regulatory bundle is uh, approved. Yep. Uh, we'll continue with the Twilio setting. But you know what? We can actually, uh, if you want, um, continue tomorrow uh, and set up some other things. And then we'll come back to the Twilio stuff once you have it. Yeah, easy. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> awesome. Thank you.